We grow in number each time I visit. Thank you, my friends, for your courage and dedication to our cause. I have just come from Europe. My homeland, in fact. And do you know what I saw there? It was an invading army. These so-called refugees, millions of them, marching across the continent, bringing their fanatical beliefs and their crime with them. They attack our women and bomb our cities. The Federal Criminal Police Office is aware of a phenomenon of jointly committed sexual harassment of women in public, which is called Taharuz Jamaya. Until now, this phenomenon had not been known in Germany. Taharush Jamaya is an Arabic word to describe group harassment. Uh, the type of crime is uh, usually committed by young men during mass gatherings, such as festivals and demonstrations. Uh, usually an inner circle attacks... And how do our leaders respond? Do they push them back and enforce the borders, as is our sovereign duty? Of course not. They say, here, take our food, take our shelter, take our way of life, and then take our lives. Despicable. So it is good to be here, where some men still know how to fight. When I was a young man, there was a great war, and our two countries did not see eye to eye. But all the signs, they all agreed on certain things, the fundamental responsibilities of a nation. Protecting the land through strength, preserving the heritage and culture of the people, offering them opportunity. Now look at the world today. Look here at the dead husk that was these United States. How the mighty have fallen. Who is protected, I ask you? On my flight, I was briefed about these brave patriots fighting the government's illegal claims to their land. Who does the land belong to, if not the people? This is who your government sees as the transgressors. What about the criminal trespassers who make a mockery of your borders? No, they are protected, of course. But that is only the beginning. Your entire culture is under siege. The principles your country was founded upon lost in the name of tolerance. Your religion, your beliefs, your sense of community all tossed aside like trash. And you cannot even speak out against it lest you be called a bigot. And who benefits from all this but the vultures feasting on the carcass? The bankers who stole your homes out from under you? And the politicians they purchased? Well, let them call you what they will. I know who you truly are. The beginnings of a revolution. The first to see the collapse of the old guard and the road to something glorious.